I'll provide from Excel to AutoCAD 27. Hello subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you on how to draw L profile from Excel to AutoCAD 27 using SWT DTM. As a DTM, I'm going to be releasing the links for you on how to download this SWT DTM on my video description. And after you download, you're going to install it on your system and you launch it. Once you open your AutoCAD, you can utilize it. All right, so this is the data we are going to be making use of here. And, and this is my AutoCAD 27 environment. This is the SWD DTM. So the next thing to do is to come to this X section. You click on X sections. Under this X section, we have draw L profile and X section. That's profile and cross section. So I'll be sharing with you on how to draw profile and cross sections using this SWDTM with your AutoCAD 27 but today's class is going to be based on L profile okay so you click on L profile and this is what we have here under this place that says read data you change this from from default to Excel because we have the data on our Excel so under this Excel now I will be working with this data you can see the changes is on 20 meter interval you can specify any changes that you want, either 10 meter interval, 5 meter interval. We also have the reduce level and the remark. Coming back to my AutoCAD 27 year with the softwares, the next thing for me to do is uh, so under this data now, I'm going to select the whole data I'm going to be working with. These are the data, and I'll right click and then I'll click on what I'll click on copy. So I'll come back to my AutoCAD 27 under this draw l profile and i'll click on execute okay so i'll click on draw all and the system says what under my command here you will see what the system is telling us to do it says pick any point as reference point then i'll click here as my reference point then we do what we have the profile the help profile on the screen as you can see this profile was draw with the height data that was provided you don't need to have your x and y only with your height you can utilize the software's sbdtm to carry out that like i've said earlier on i'll provide the links for you to download that on my video description so you can see we have the change you can see we have from change zero to nine forty meters that's the extent of the road uh, we have 20 meter intervals this as the existing levels of the values we provide in and uh, this is the shape of the profile and that is how to use your SW DTM with your AutoCAD 27 to draw a profile and if you found this video helpful do well to subscribe to my channel comment on my video likes and share thank you